Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. <clears throat> and thank you for coming to the channel. Yes. Thank you for being there for me but my family on youtube they always be there for me they always be there for me and they send me uh different things to talk about yeah i'm so glad for that i'm so glad because sometimes i can't even remember what i'm doing or what i'm talking about or who i need to talk about but we go on and get into the reunion part two and just like can you say it we got to give it to Kenya. she be calling boy she be calling it she wasn't faking the phone for nobody she said this reunion was mild. And she ain't lied. She ain't lied one day. That reunion was so boring. Ooh, child. I was like, I cannot get my hour and 15 minutes back. I cannot get my hour and 15 minutes back. Because this was some weird bull. I mean, Bravo need to stop it. They need to stop um, dragging out reunions. Because this thing could have been done, really, I believe, in one reunion. Yep, it could have been done all in one reunion. <sighs> but I guess they need their ratings. I guess they need, I don't know what they need, I tell you. Because this, this wasn't it. This wasn't it, y'all. It's boring as hell. Boring as hell. And I tried to take some notes. But, you know, even the notes didn't even sound right when I was taking them. It was boring when I was writing it down. I said, God. Oh, Kenya was right. I don't know what Andy or True, Truly Entertainment need to do, but they don't need to be, you know, spacing out. Just get them a little, or three more episodes on onto the, the show, and we just end this in one big reunion, one take all. You know what I'm saying? And we've been done because this is bullshit, bullshit. But we're going into the first thing I wanted to talk about. Teray calls Anthony, and she claims she asked him. Was he her assistant? He says no. I mean, the, the really, the uh, egg just got thrown in Drew's face because evidently this An Anthony is just a liar. You know, he go from one thing to the net, one thing to the net, and he be lying all the way around the circle because Kenya, I'm not Kenya, but uh, Sheree called him because Drew was saying something else about what Anthony had said, and she was pulling receipts on what Anthony had told her, which was a lie. And, um... Uh, well, let's just say Anthony's a liar. We ain't going to say Drew were wrong. We ain't going to say Sheree were wrong. But at the end of the day, he told Andy Cohen, because, you know, uh, Kenya had put him, not Kenya, uh, Sheree had put him on FaceTime. And uh, it was a remote call. And he said, uh, no, if he said something like that, he, uh, if, if he said something like that, then it was wrong. Because Sheree, no, Sheree don't owe him no money. I mean, he was just walking back, pulling backpedaling and ooh, pissing and popping and just getting on my goddamn nerves. I'm like, why do we have him? We don't need to ever have him on anybody's reality show. If he can't stand in his own shit and tell the truth one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, it'd be the same story. <sighs> he needs just, uh, we don't need him on the show no more. He's not a credible witness. He's not a credible uh, friend of the show. He, he's nothing. Let's just leave him in the wind, okay? Uh, then we have Kenya is telling Andy Marlo is fake. You know, of course, Marlo is just apologizing for her actions and, and, and trying to be condescending. And we just want to hear for the shit. We're with Kenya. We, we want to hear for the shit. We know what you said, how you said it. And the producers were playing the stuff back, showing the evidence of what each and every one of them women was saying to about one another on the show. Uh, then we got Andy talks to Marlo about her nephews and kicking them out. And Andy's trying to clean up Marlo's image regarding season 14 entirety. Uh, yeah, I saw the thing how Andy was just trying to uh, start Marlo off down the road. He gassed up her car and he told her to ride. 
And she, you know, every little pitfall she was making, and it was there to clean it up, make it seem like Marlo been through a lot. Marlo is a hurt woman. So, of course, unless Marlo get help, counseling, therapy, and maybe some medication management, uh, she will be fine. Uh, but she just telling her story, and her story was, uh, it was very ugly of how she had did her nephews, and but Marlo didn't know no better. That's pretty much the um the scenario, and it was painting for all the women to not get on Marlo so bad because she's a hurt woman, and we all do know hurt people hurt people. But then hurt people that hurt people need to learn a lesson. They need to get this shit together because it's not gonna be something we're gonna always take in, in consideration that oh reason why you acting this way is because this happened to you no 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 that's not how the real world works out there that's not how the real world works uh so we need her to be accountable meaning marlo then we got um marlo again apologizes to candy and you know ain't nobody feeling marlo at this point we're like girl show and prove show and prove don't say it take action develop the plan and implement it and we can see what can go from there whether for his friendship or you know whatever you know but they, i don't think Candace gonna trust milo too much she knows she's just there to play the villain and she knows to stay already strapped up so when she comes with her pellet gun she can come out with her uzi and then kenya will back it up with her cannon <laughs> and just bl blow milo the splitterings uh splitterings or splitterings or something like that okay Oh, let me see. Uh, Andy asked Marlo, has she heard anything, anything from her nephew's mother? And she said, no, she hadn't spoken to them. And I guess the uh, boys hadn't either. So they're just living life however Marlo wants to serve it up to them. Um, and Kenya uh, was saying, you know, Andy was definitely trying to uh, help her out in explaining herself. Because he don't think Marlo is very articulate either. But I, I understood I don't know if it's the hood in me or the uh, woman in me that understood exactly what Marlo was doing, which was playing on their emotions. But, you know, maybe Andy couldn't see it, and he just trying to clean up her act for season 15. But uh, 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 Marlo is cut from a different cloth. You come for her, she's going to go all the way in, okay, just like Kenya. Unless you, uh, unless Kenya has sent for you, don't come. Don't come. She don't want you. She don't want you on a driveway. She don't want you on the side of the street. She don't even want you on the nearby street that would be able to turn on her street. So uh, you have to come to Kenya with invitation. Invitation only. Then we got, um, hmm, Ralph is still got, oh, uh, well, Andy was asking, uh, Drew, did she like or is, um, her husband still gaslighting her? And I don't think really Drew got the real conception of what gaslighting is. I think she's still left in the dark. Nobody has given her a flashlight to come and find her way out the woods, okay? So we're just going to leave Drew there. We're just going to leave Drew there because she ain't leaving him. He ain't leaving her. He ain't li leaving her. And it's just one of those situations that they got to work out. Not us. Not not the people. Uh, not the watchers. Not the show. They going to have to work it out amongst themselves. Uh, then we got... Uh, they were talking about uh, the edges, you know, and um, somehow we got on Marlo, and I think Drew was asking her how your edges are. You know, are they growing back this and the third? And honey, lo and behold, she come out with this. She said she's been using Kenya more hair products. <laughs> And Kenya couldn't say not one damn thing about it. That's the first time in a long time I've seen Kenya get you know uh sold up where she couldn't say nothing back so i was like okay good one marlo maybe you can come with those um uh, next season but uh <laughs> kenya couldn't say nothing she just said yeah my products work baby <laughs> so yeah keep buying the product honey keep right thank you uh so that was funny as hell then we got um let's see and shade sheree about people getting on her about her clothing line well you know like i said we don't talk about this shit we through with uh she buy don't pay okay we are through with sheree don't pay uh then we go to they trying to find out from the i think the first or second episode in season 14 uh when um kenya was throwing baby girl brooklyn her tea party and they were playing this little game of never have i ever or whatever it was you know but somebody had wrote down that candace suck did and he was really basically um, 
asking Sheree, uh, why was she being shady in her confessionals about it? And, you know, Sheree stood in her ground, said, yeah, you do suck dick. And all this, and then Candace like, well, do you suck dick? She said, yeah, I suck a dick or two here. <laughs> uh, she did suck a dick here or two, you know, whatever. I said, okay, Sheree, stay in your own shit. Clear that shit up and move on. So I like how Sheree ended that, and Candy was obliged to do it because it tickled the shit out of her, too. But uh, I guess she thought Sheree was going to be all um like proper and 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 primp primp and proper and say oh i never have done that but she was up there she said hell yeah i don't suck a few but it's see what it is baby it's okay you you know and then candy she couldn't say nothing so that (laughs) that was enlightening as well uh then we got kenya's um or uh what's her name sonya was asking and kenya was replying back on you know you had said her man was aggressive and this that and the third and you know kenya was kind of like she was pedaling backwards i said wait a minute Kenya, I, I, we go forward we twirl honey we say what we say we stand in our shit okay like needy said i said what i said and i said it okay and i'm not changing it but it seems like kenya was like oh well yeah ralph is, he has a calm demeanor and he's this that and i like kenya 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 i don't care what nobody say ralph was aggressive and she right, she didn't have a man to stand up for her to get Ross back in his place. But irregardless, Ross was very aggressive. He shouldn't have said that shit. I don't care if he was talking to Kenya, Sheree Candy, or the camera crew. Don't give a fuck. He should have just stayed down and, and basically looked like the other men were looking and, and let the women handle their own beef. Did not need a man to be in there. Nowhere in there. So we need Ross to, uh, we need him to show and prove since his wife is coming back we need him to read the rule book of how to act on the real housewives of atlanta okay and how you go away from when it's women shit as long as you know uh, and even if kenya wanted to get up and slap uh sonya who been an assault but you couldn't do nothing ralph let sonya handle that business okay not you but anyway tired of talking about that he was aggressive i don't care what people say uh we got and uh andy acknowledged kenya uh, her mild demeanor, her loving spirit, her fun, uh, supportive spirit she had for this season, and uh, he was he was liking all the positiveness. And I'm like, yeah, can you say she ain't acting a villain this uh this season? Somebody else gonna have to play that villain part. But if somebody comes for her, she will come back at them, uh, not with the same energy. Hers is gonna be a little bit more powerful. Uh, then we go to um. Oh, can uh Andy asked about can you the boys? And I'm tired of this shit, really I am. I, it's done dragged on too long. It's like, girl, just stay with the man. Just you know, just it, don't even do a divorce no more because it seemed like the shit ain't coming to fruition just like she charade don't pay clothes ain't and ain't materialized, okay? And when it did materialize, she copied off another uh distributor that sells to everybody, okay, that wanna have clothes in their shop. So, uh, I was like, I don't want to hear that shit about Mark. He holding on to this. He holding on to that. He don't want to get a boy. Hell, neither one of y'all want to get a divorce, Kenya. I'm just going to put it mildly. No, y'all don't want to get a divorce. Y'all just want to play this shit up. And, and I mean, uh, <sighs> this divorce is lasting as long as the Queen of Elizabeth II has la- lasted on this earth. You see what I'm saying? It's tiring. It's boring. And we're through with it. So, I don't want to hear no more shit about that. Okay. Then we got, um... Well, let's see. Why was Sonya rock? Oh, yeah, did y'all know that Sonya was rocking like Beyonce was when she was at a game with Jay Z? How she was rocking back and forth like she was under a spell, honey. I was like, damn, as we got the uh, church music going, it's the Lord coming home. I'm going up to yonder. I'm going up to yonder. I'm going up to yonder. To be with my Lord. Yeah, yeah, I'm going up to yonder. Yeah, honey, that's what we were saying. Because, you know, saw you were back there, they were rocking from side to side. I was like, damn, did she get the spirit or something? What's going on? <laughs> she were rocking loud. I was like, was she being angry? Was she finna strike out like a snake and hit Drew in the back of the head? What is going on? Woo, child. I said, mm-mm, we ain't in church because I'm looking at these folks and they looking mad as hell. Especially Sonya. I said, Sonya, don't hit her. Don't hit her, Sonya. Don't hit her now. You'll be like, for two, a thought, an afterthought, you wouldn't be on the show. You probably get the salt chart, but it is what it is. I thought that was funny as hell, but anyway. 
Uh, let me see. I need to talk to Kenya and Sheree about Sonya and that mommy me thing. Well, we already know. We ain't dumb. We ain't stupid. We ain't out of an orbit somewhere. We knew uh, Sonya was getting the, the, the more, uh, what do you call it, the, the more person that was exposed in the media and had good contacts and had good uh, uh, numbers that they can pull. If you put Kenya or Candy on a platform, you're going to get the people to come in because they're two likable people and they're business women. So she knew what she was doing when she asked, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, Kenya and Candy to come and watch her do her presentations on Mommy and Me. So we, we, ain't, we ain't dumb. We ain't dumb. Uh, but let me see. Uh, Andy tries to shade Sheree about Martell. Yeah, um, you know, Martell called and Kenya made a little big deal about it. And Andy was saying... A asking her how Martell is uh, 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 faring these days. I'm like, they ain't faring. They ain't faring, okay? They just want a storyline. They want to, uh, you know, he needs to raid the call in on his phone when he's with people. They need to fake the phone until they can get a better storyline going, okay? Because, you know, <laughs> oh, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Let's just go past that. I don't even know why I broke that shit down. But anyway, uh, it says, uh, let's see, see, see. No one can. Okay, yeah, and uh, they were trying to find out who was the one that wrote the uh, the thing down about Kenya's uh, dick, and it seemed like Kenya was trying to confess, but then you know Kenya always pulled them damn stunts because she's an actress as well, so she didn't agree to it that she did it. So we don't know. We don't know. We really don't know. But like I said, Kenya suck dick. Sheree suck dick. Kenya probably suck dick. I suck dick. You suck dick. Everybody suck a dick around here. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Uh, if, if you got a man, you got a woman, and they into that, hopefully they clean with their bodies and everything, and, and you can feel comfortable with them because they're your man or they're your husband. So, this is what it is, okay? Uh, and then we got Kenya said we would get, oh, they were fussing about Marlo's income and why they can't find no uh, retail value and what she do. They don't know how she get her money. And Kenya just said, Honey, we'll just get uh the square reader to tell us your income. <laughs> that was the same square reader, uh square, um, uh, what do you call it? Device that uh Kenya had told Marlo has between her legs. I was like, oh my god, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. All right, she don't keep it clean. Sometimes she don't keep it clean, and we just have to go there with her because she 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 bring it up and bring it out, and you know we just have to follow her lead when she's getting ready to um. Uh, speak on it about somebody's business you want to tell okay but then we move on let me see oh and then it was something about kenya won't be marlo's friend because marlo was taken up and she liked it being a friend with portia and drew chimed in and said yeah because when um you are like that marlo because when i didn't too much like porsche or whatever you did the same thing to me and drew she told drew drew i was just getting to know you i wasn't your friend at the time. i was like oh lord oh let's just stop the madness let's just stop the madness here then we got um um you know marlo and king was still going back and forth and uh marlo was saying kenny you're gonna stop lying on me you're gonna stop lying you are a liar i'm like oh that was rehearsed that was rehearsed right there but, you know, it just did what it did. Then, somehow, Andy went through the whole scenario of why Marlo was being defensive towards uh, Kenya. And he was saying, you know, uh, backing up some of the ideas of Kenya, saying she was in jail. She went to jail. She spent time in jail. And so, Andy wanted to clarify the jail stint or time uh, Marlo had did when she got a record. And Marlo said she was in her early 20s. And she was doing some dumbass things, and uh, she didn't go to prison. She went to county jail for six months, and uh, one of them was like bouncing a check, or a, I don't know what it was. It's just ridiculous. I'm like, okay, as long as you ain't kill nobody. But she did, uh, uh, what do you call it? She did um, slice up somebody's face just a little bit, okay? Uh, and that's why mainly she went to jail for. But uh, yeah. Child, it was just a hot mess, and it was just, it's just stupid as hell. I don't even know why we had a part two. Barely can understand why we had part one. I, I just don't understand. I mean, Andy, get it together. We don't need to have one reunion, one full one. We just go with it for, uh, what do you call it, two hours, and we can wrap all this shit up because it, it was just too much. I, it's, it was boring. We're going to see. I kept looking at the clock like, 
Okay, they're gonna show us something good in a few minutes. They're gonna show us something good. And that shit went to almost 9 o'clock. And ain't nothing come out. Then nothing pop off. Okay. So, that's all I had, guys. That's all I saw. It really wasn't nothing but fluff, fluff, fluff. And I guess they're say, uh, saving the last thing. Um, the, the, you know, for the what, the the piece of resistance. The fire that they're supposed to bring and whatnot. It's supposed to be for uh, episode 3, I'm guessing. But I, I am just really thinking King was right on the whole thing. Season uh, 14 was... You know, something with the bomb, but the reunion was mild as hell. It was just like eating a salad without the croutons or the crackers. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to have something to spice the situation up. And this reunion one and two was not giving it to us. It was not giving it to us. Okay? I don't know if because um, Kenya had no formative opponent to attack or what. You know? And then, uh, what's her name? Uh, Sonya was just saying, well, uh, well, yeah, you shouldn't went off home and King like that, but, you know, I'm still there for you, but, you know, it's gonna take us, a... yeah, I'm like, what the hell is going on, Sonya, just shut your mouth, just shut your mouth, okay, because she ain't giving up, and you ain't giving up, but it, it, you would probably want to get some more reads in, or learn how to read, or get somebody together before you come for her, okay, because she just made you a little stupid during the sh uh, season, as well as on the reunion, so, this is what it is. I ain't got no more for this uh, episode, guys. Hopefully, y'all liked it. My rendition of the recap, uh, if you didn't get a chance to see it. But it's boring as hell. Now, I'm just under the impression uh, it's going to be boring as hell on uh, episode reunion three. Okay, next week. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.